it's finally cooled off a bit. It was 90 or nine, somewhere between 90 and 92 today. It will probably be the last day that of the summer that we probably have it quite that hot, but who knows, maybe there will be some more. But uh, I'm glad the really, really hot weather is going to finally be over. Um, in my last video, I had talked about um, Wow, they were trying really hard not to get in the in the photo, <laughs> in the video. Um, in my last video, I talked about how it's just very unlikely that we're ever going to get outside this solar system. I seriously, seriously doubt we're ever going to get warp speed. Um, I mean, even if we just go by the reasons of... Uh, I mean, even if we didn't have capitalism, even if it was some other system, we would all have to find some reason to put that much effort into the research needed to be able to to pull something like that off. Then we'd have to have the people that are willing to pretty much give up their lives because they probably won't be able to make it back. Uh, I mean, there's so many things that go into it that are, that are just so unlikely. Even if we had a completely different system. So, I don't know, I, I just think it's... A lot of it is just such wishful thinking, you know? And I mean, it's nice to be positive about things, but there's a point when it just, there's a point when it gets kind of silly. Some other things I was thinking about is how, just with our current system, you find, it's I'm kind of going all over the place a bit here, is, uh, You'll find due dates on ketchup that's like just a year from the time that you purchase it. Ketchup. Um, you find on the... You, know, you, you look around at the label for, for a little bottle of water and they say, do, do not refill. And this isn't because they're worried someone's going to sue or something like that. It's They want you to buy more of the water, but it's do not refill. <laughs> There's just... I know these, these seem like small things, but I mean, we are such a throwaway society. I mean, we should be... Not only should we, we be recycling things, but we should be reusing things. But everything is so focused on, on disposability. Everything. Our technology is disposable. Apple products really take that to extremes. Your computer's slow? Well, throw it out and buy another one. Versus the mindset that those that like to build their own machines have is, uh, well, you know, keep everything but replace this one thing in it. 
and now replace this one thing in it, and you still are reusing everything else. Um. Cars. Especially since the 80s. Cars are disposable. You know, cars used to be something you could, uh, some of the mindset was that, you know, you could, uh, give it to your children, and they could give it to their children, as long as it, it isn't totaled. But that's not how we do things now. You buy things to throw them away. Now, I suppose that might be an advantage to some of these people that will take some, you know, uh, Oldsmobile, what is it, Cutlass Sierra or something from the from the 80s, and they'll they'll jack it up and put these huge, ugly wheels on them and stuff. And uh, you know, I suppose there's a there's an advantage to that. There's there's some of that mindset of of non-disposability with that, I guess. <laughs> um, and really right now I'm, I'm talking about all the fripperies that have to do with the kind of culture we have. The, uh, they're not any of the really deep things at all, but they still are things that stand up that's that stand out not stand up that stand out among the things that we do in our daily lives that reflect this disposable mindset I mean we've got these we've got these huge garbage piles floating garbage all over the oceans there's some areas, I, I forget what they call them, the, uh, uh, I don't know, floating landfills, whatever, they're, they're, they're these, these, these huge, huge sections where it's just, the entire surface of the ocean is, is garbage. It's just kind of sad. But so many people are focused on, you know, they're, they're either stuck in this idea that, oh, we're eventually going to, to, to get off this planet and go to some other places, that we'll find some other planet and go to, somehow go outside the solar system. Or, we have the other mindset, the, the, op, the, the other one that says, oh, well, we're, everything was put here for us to use how we choose. Like, like it's never ending, like, like some sort of fairy tale, uh, Disney kind of fairy tale, you know, not the real fairy tales. Um, and then I think about how many people will still look at characters and look up to certain characters in movies of in fictional stories. Oh, I want to be like that, instead of looking up to real people who have actually done real things. Then you have, uh, what was that uh, uh, campaign for, well, think like, be like Ike, or something like that, you know? It, and it, it has to do with, I mean, a sport? It, I, I don't know, it, it just, it, it's weird. It's very strange. It's not Ike, it wasn't Ike, what am I saying? Be like Mike. I think it was Mike. I can't remember, but I, I'm sure people know what I'm talking about. And I'm making a fool of myself now, so... <laughs> and it's time to end the video because it's right at about the 10 minute mark.